okay so it's that time of the year starting to be horrific in london i just wanted to remind you that i still have another one of these beautiful bell stuff jackets that i'm selling it's a size uk 10 which is about one size larger than i would wear but then i am super small and i'm selling it for 50 percent off it's brand new it's gorgeous i wear this jacket all the time it's exactly like this one mine so yeah if you want it let me know because it's kind of the right time for you to get it so i just arrived in naples and they gave me some prosecco which is so nice my bmb i'm staying in this BMB actually bed and breakfast, but it's super cute. Look at it. Do you know that in Napoli the pastry shops are open until 9.30 at night? I'm actually gonna go to have a little walk and maybe I'll go to a pastry shop because I love Italian pastries. I mean I'm not gonna buy something right now because I'm gonna wake up really early tomorrow and I'm gonna have breakfast at 8 a.m. But just to see, just to see something that's open. E adesso andate via. This is crazy. I have been told not to walk around Napoli by myself at night. And the guy that's hosting me in, I mean, this BMB, which is really cool. And he was really kind to offer to drive me to this area so that I could see something. But I mean, this is not really what I wanted to do. I just wanted to rest tonight. And I got into yet another car for 20 minutes to get here. And it's like, what am I supposed to do here alone at 10 p.m.? He's like, yeah, lots of people, you can have a drink. Like, okay. Here we are. I'll probably return tomorrow though, because tomorrow I do want to go out. But because tomorrow during the day I'm working, I don't really, like today is not really a day to go out for me. So what's very interesting about Napoli is that the statues that you see in commemoration with politicians or heroes, figures, they are all dressed like Romans, which I'm not used to seeing. There's a bit more light here. I mean, if I wasn't alone, I would probably go over there and stuff, but I don't want to go there alone. All the way down there. The driving is so funny. People drive like in cartoons. Spanish. You think I 
said that Spanish is really similar to Italian until you come to Italy, literally everything is different. And to be fair, if I hadn't done an hour of yoga, I would have gotten out sooner. But it's just I feel like shit if I don't do something in the morning. And I also, I have tried waking up an hour before to do it, to, you know, not lose an hour. But it's just if I don't sleep, I need everything. I need sleep, I need exercise, I need breakfast. And yesterday night, because I was out with the host until like midnight, I couldn't go to bed at the time that I wanted to. Okay, I need to cross. What's happening here? How can I cross? Oh no. Everybody's crossing just in the middle of the street. But the cars are coming. I'm tempted to go into the pharmacy, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna go into the pharmacy. Let's walk away from the pharmacy. Find the station. The guy offering socks in the middle of the street. You know how sometimes people offer you samples for peanut butter and things like that? He was offering socks. I'm at the fair, so as you can see, these are the typical pearl designs, pearl pendants that you find, but these are all very classic, so the great thing about my pendant is that it's really modern. You can see the difference right away, it's almost, it's sexier because it's just kind of, it's kind of cool and nonchalant, and it's platinum which is slightly grayer. tomorrow because I don't know at what time I want to leave so I have two options now and you know what happens is that changing a flight is not really worth it I mean it was the same amount of money to change my booking than to just buy another flight and I'd rather have two flights and then I can leave at whatever time I want I'm pretty sure that I want to come to bed really early tonight so I'll probably wake up really early but the thing is my first flight that I had booked I have to leave the hotel at 8 a.m. and it just seems unreal it's just like I would rather get a flight that allows me at least to have breakfast in peace and then the other flight I could even spend most of the day around here so it makes more sense and it was really not a lot of money so yeah that's what we're doing and now I'm gonna go to dinner to one of the best fish restaurants I don't know how you call it in Italian Pestateria. and then tomorrow maybe I can do some work you know if we have time in the morning I can at least send a few emails or do things like that which would be cool because I haven't had any time today. I was just traveling all day. This is my outfit. I'm wearing an Enza Costa dress and these sandals. Casual, cool. Let's go. You wanna be America? Napoli at night by ourselves it seems to be my habit. I'm looking for a gelato actually because I had the most amazing fish and pasta and then I realized that I haven't tried a gelato since I've been here and when I go to Italy you know I like to go get some gelato and I haven't eaten a lot today so I think I can afford it. You wanna be Americano? Americano, 